now from baseball in the athlete category, Evelyn Warishan Morose. Evelyn Morose was scouted and signed to play in the All-American Girls Baseball League. She came from a rural Manitoba background, born in Tyndall. Like most athletes, she excelled in more than one sport. She was the Northeastern Manitoba Senior Girls Track and Field Champion in 1940 and was part of the Provincial Senior Ladies Championship basketball team out of Flin Flon in 1946. And she was the top scorer on the Winnipeg Senior Women's Hockey Team that won both Western and Eastern Canadian Finals in 1950. However, baseball was really Evelyn's passion. She made people take notice of her talent, along with that of previously Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame inductee Olive Ben Little. In 1945, both were members of the provincial champion CUAC Blues fastball team. Evelyn was team MVP, winning the Coleman Trophy. History doesn't record if Evelyn was pulled away from milking cows to show her abilities to the scouts, but she obviously made an impression at a large camp in Chicago, at which time she was selected for one of the six teams. Evelyn wasn't a Rockford peach, but she played five seasons for the Muskegon Lassies at second base and in the outfield. The Lassies were the 1947 American pennant winners. Individually, in the five seasons she played, Evelyn hit 265 in 544 games. She wasn't a power hitter, as her 37 doubles, 16 triples, and single home run among 517 base hits would attest. But she had a knack for coming through in the clutch with 193 runs batted in. That player for being a winner brought Evelyn Player of the Year honorable mention status in 1948, as well as steadily improving all-star recognition. She was third team all-league in 1948, second team in 49, and a first-team All-Star at second base in 1950. Evelyn Morose was in Cooperstown, New York in 1989 when Baseball's Hall of Fame recognized her contribution to the All-American All-Girls Baseball League. And Evelyn's picture and statistics are in the Women in Baseball section, just as they will be here in Manitoba after tonight with her induction to the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. very closely everything they eat, having sort of very specialized diet. Uh, did you have that when you were playing? No. You were, you ate what you liked, eh? And everybody had their own <coughs> different, call it quirks if you like, eh? And we had a couple of girls from Cuba, eh? And uh, they thought pork chops was the greatest thing that there was, eh? and they had pork chops every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, well, and of course, a lot of girls, you know, and I'm I'm one of them. <clears throat> you get superstitious about foods. I did, eh? And I guess the tomato was mine, eh? And I figured if I don't get a hit, you know, in a couple of days, I haven't got a baseball hit, eh? I, and I'm not playing so good. Maybe I better have tomato soup, tomato sandwich, or something like that. Eh? <laughs> <clears throat> and positive thinking, and you know, usually it, it seemed like it worked, eh? <laughs>